Juvenile Sporting FC was born in 2019. The club was formed by the Angpang Youth District in the very first mega tournament, the Union Football Trophy, first edition 2019. They secured runner-up. In spite of losing the first match, they bounced back strongly with four consecutive wins and made their place into the final. In the final match, they were in the commenting lead. However, last 10 minutes cost them where they considered a couple of goals. They were defeated with an aggregate goal by 4-3. It was the close encounter match. They lost the match but won the heart of the spectators. Now the Juvenile Sporting FC is regrouped and has been training very hard. Their fitness level look decent. Soon they will be in action. Here are the film formations of Juvenile Sporting FC. The default formations of the team is 4-3-3. They mostly played with this formation. After having a great success with this formation, this season 2, they will come up with this particular formation. Probable 11 of Juvenile Sporting FC this season. Starting with the goalkeeper Yin Chang, who picked the best goalkeeper award last season, a short height keeper will hold his club in the upcoming season too. There is likely to be remain Sam in the defense department, leading by is a full back defender, a physically strong lad who is known for his long range shot. The way he intercepts and tackles was fascinating to sight. Next is Center back Chong H, the eldest player in the team, he is likely to be retained his place in the 11. Being the eldest, he will be the coordinator of the defense department. The two positions left in the defense will fill by Ina and Jin. Two pocket sized dynamite play a vital role in the defense department last season and this season too. The two are the first choice defender of the team. In the middle, Chamba and Hongam will fill the right and left midfield. The two young guns who were exceptional and so much promises last season, these two are the emerging player of the team. Next is Sabang H, the captain of the juvenile sporting FC. Last season, the skipper was the second highest scorer of the team. And Bulang, the right wingers of the team who had a terrific last season and also the highest scorer in the tournament last season. The skipper's and the deputy has played a number of tournaments and the two are the most experienced player in the team so team has a lot of expectation or we can say teams are pretty much rely on these two the guy the left wingers who has scored a couple of goals last season there is no questions mark about his ability but still has to work a little bit on his technique to become a complete package player the center forward of the team is uncertain but the management will go with one Substitute bench looks much stronger as compared to last season. Chong Ho played a couple of matches last season. He will be the top in the list. The guy say who had a horrible last season and the heavily weighed Johan and the three led Topo, Hongam and Ichim will find difficult to make his way into the 11. There are some new faces in the team Chiba, Yongba, Hamchen, Sapang. The additions of Chiba and Yungba into the team will make a huge difference. The tall lads and the left footed will be the drum card of the team this season. Now the team manager of Juvenile Sporting FC, Man Chen. Last season he was appointed as an interim manager of the team. This year he is likely to be alternate but there is no update about it. Changmi, who will be the mentors of the team this season, is also the president of the club. The veteran has a key role to assemble the team. His selfless service towards the club is highly commendable. That's it for today.